Hey, Adam Harrison from Burble Guitars, and I'm here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Okay, today's quick little video is all about making mistakes. Um, I've been seeing quite a few uh, posts recently or over the last couple of months about people who have gotten really upset uh, when they've done something wrong, okay? Um, building cigar box guitars is not like building normal electric guitars or basses or things like that. One of the wonderful things about building a cigar box guitar is there's this air of experimentation that we all have. Uh, it's a really fun type of thing. So the first thing I'm gonna to say to you is, please don't take it too seriously, okay? Um, now that may, having said that, that may depend on, on who you're building for. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who are building because it's a business or they're building to sell them or they've got a client who's made an order uh, for a cigar box guitar. The big thing I'm going to say is building cigar box guitars is always an experimental type of process, okay? Um, unless you're a, a fairly big company, um, let's say like Lace, for example, who are mass producing and manufacturing out of, you know, big box factories and stuff like that, that's kind of a different story. It's all basically cut on CNC and all that sort of stuff, I expect, I'm, don't quote me on that. Um, but when you're a small time builder or you're a hobbyist, don't get too upset when you make a mistake. Adapt, change things around. Um, a really good example is this particular <laughs> box here. Um, this is now the fourth iteration of this particular guitar. <laughs> Mainly because I was kind of experimenting with it in the first place. Uh, this is a, a box, uh, which it's, so it's not a cigar box, it's a box, and we've got a lid all ready to go. Um, the neck is a gorgeous oak neck with a beautiful piece of rosewood for the fretboard. Um, but I'm actually, I'm actually really happy with where, with where this one is actually going to go. So this isn't necessarily a build thing. I'm not gonna show you how to build it or what I'm doing today with this, but what I wanted to say, and most importantly was, when you make a mistake, adapt. Have a look, a look around. Ask your friends. Don't get upset, okay? It's, um, and don't get, um, don't get put off, okay? We all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes when it comes to building something, all right? Nobody's perfect, let me tell you. Um, there's mistakes happening in the in the Fender factories and, and, and the Gibson, you know, Murphy Labs and stuff like that, all right? Mistakes happen. Please don't get upset or discouraged uh, when something like that happens. Roll with it, okay? Find another way. Have a think about it and think, okay, if it hasn't worked that way, what went wrong? Let me go back to it, okay? Especially you guys who are just starting out now, you've got the luxury of time. You've got the luxury to put it down. I'm getting really upset with the way this is happening. I'm getting really frustrated. Guys, two things are gonna happen, okay? One, you're gonna completely stuff it up, all right? And two, if you're really upset, there's potential for injury, okay? Especially when you look at some of the tools that we use, whether they're, they're simple hand rasp, if you're angry, if you're rushing, Man, I've taken my my knuckles nearly down to the bone with the with the Japanese, the Shinto file. You know the the. Be careful. Drills, right? Electric screwdrivers, saws, oscillating spindle sanders, all that sort of stuff. You know the the, the shop vacuum cleaner. God help yourself. All right. Take it easy. If you get really discouraged, walk away from it. Shut the shop. Walk away, go and do something else for a while. Have a think about it. Pick up a phone. Hey, pick up a, you know, jump on the internet, Facebook. Uh, hey guys, but don't get discouraged, all right? That was it, that's it today. It was just a little thing, roll with the punches, figure out what went wrong, adapt, fix it, all right? Get out there and go and have some fun.